My name is Ivo Gut. I'm a genome researcher. My passion is reading the book of life that is written in our DNA. DNA is a very, very small molecule that holds an awful lot of information. In order to read that information, we require magnifying glasses with very, very high resolution. These magnifying glasses that we use are being developed through a project that I coordinate, which is called Read DNA and is funded by the European Commission. Come with me, I will show you the laboratories of the Centro Nacional de Análisis Genómico in Barcelona. It's already 10 years ago that the human genome has been sequenced and it was very costly and it, was, uh, it took very long time. Today the situation is much different. We are using second generation sequencing that is thousand times cheaper and it's much faster. The aim of ReDNA is to bring the second generation of sequences to the clinic. Third generation will be available probably in a couple of years and it will provide data within uh, a few hours from having taken a sample and at a cost that is substantially reduced from today. And beyond that we are already working on a fourth generation of sequencing technology. ReDNA unites the top experts in technology development for nucleic acid analysis. The 20 best groups in Europe are together in this project and the scientific coordination of the project is taken care of by the SINAC. How we are sequencing DNA nowadays? We take the DNA extracted from the patient and we fragment it into several pieces. These fragments we introduce into the robot together with the chemicals that uh, multiply these fragments into many copies. These copies we put into the sequencing machine together with the fluorescent bases. At the first cycle we incorporate the first base that is fluorescent. Because these fragments are extremely tiny we had to make the multiple copies, these are in these groups, and then we can receive very strong, very strong fluorescent dot. We take a picture of this fluorescent dots, and we take away the fluorescence of the first base. Then we incorporate the next fluorescent base, and we again take the picture of this uh, fluorescent signal. We are repeating this process until the entire fragment is being read. At the end, in the computers, we are again capable to, ass to assemble this uh, information and these fragments together as the original information was. With the advances in our technologies, we hope that uh, genome sequencing will soon arrive in routine clinic. An example of this is that a cancer lesion will be biopsied and that biopsy will be subjected to exhaustive genomic analysis and the treating doctor will then be able to take a decision on which drug is best suited to fight this particular tumour with a minimum side effect for the, for the patient. This is an example how this technology will be applied. ReDNA is working hard to advance this technology and uh, we are working in a way that this technology will arrive in the clinic rather sooner than later. <laughs>